Hello, everybody. Welcome to Way of the Hunter. We're going to be checking out this game for the very first time now. I have played Call of the Wild for a very long time, and uh, I've been very excited about this game. It just released today, so let's see what it's all about. Way of the Hunter. Welcome to the Nez Perce Valley is what they just said. Now, there was a lot of music and a whole intro uh, to the game that I won't show in here for copyright reasons, but here is the game. We are loaded in, and... Uh, I am running on my new PC. This has got a 3090 in it. It's got a 12 900K uh, CPU in it. Uh, 64 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, DDR5 RAM, actually. And uh, that's what we're rocking here today. So I'll show you my settings here really quick. And one of the things that uh, I made sure to do right out of the gate was turn post-processing down. So you see right here, we're running 1440p full screen, custom, very high on view distance. And post-processing is on low, high, 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 very high temporal off and off that's what we've got rolling right now story objective objective area next story objective you can now follow the story of river Knox and his grandfather or you can do whatever you are in the mood for and hunt what you like you can pick up the story again at any time how cool is that find the spare key in the mailbox all right let's do that thank, thank god we have a trustworthy mailman yeah no kidding right all right one of the biggest uh, complaints this game has on the steam reviews is the fov it is a fixed fov of about 55 or so um, they are going to be patching that, uh, and they are going to be doing some key binding things as well. That's the biggest things that they're getting hit on right now, I saw on Steam. So uh, I'm just going to be patient about that. To me, uh, this FOV is not bad. I run a 32-inch monitor, um, and uh, yeah, it's 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 not too bad for me. It's kind of a hunter a or a Call of the Wild-ish to me. Welcome to your new home, the Bear Den Ranch. You can buy new items. Yeah, we can drive a Jeep, and you better believe it. We're going to be doing some cool stuff with that. All right, so here is the storage, Grandpa's old rifle. Now, this game does have actual uh, name brand uh, items like guns and gear and all sorts of stuff. So, yep, we want to equip this thing. You better believe it. And we need to get the Leupold F uh, VX Freedom 2, uh, magnification 2 to 7, 33 mil, and low. Yep, we'll equip that guy to that. Secondary, uh, we got Grandpa's old rifle there. So, um, that's our primary. We don't have a secondary there. Uh, any callers? We don't have any of those yet. We do have uh, Overguard, eight-time binoculars here, and nothing else. That's all we got. Cool. Gear handling. To change your active gear, press... Uh, okay, gotcha. So, up on the uh, old mouse thing. There's the those, and then here's the gun. Okay. Oh, nice. Reach the northwest balcony on the second floor. All right. Oh, is there a second? There must be a second floor upstairs. Oh, I bet they want to show you the, uh, yeah. So you have a lodge here, and you can put all your trophies um, all over the place. Uh, the taxidermy stand you can see right there. Man, I got to say this. The audio for, like, the uh, the effects so far are very good. I like them a lot. And uh, we're going to run over here and check this out. Because that's what they want us to do. We're here. All right, binoculars. Got them. Binoculars are the hunter's best friend. First cycle through your gear. We did that. Some optics can be zoomed in or zoomed out with that. Okay, gotcha. So I can zoom in and out with other optics, but that's not what we have here. So we need to look here. Okay. We need to look over there at the bridge. Got it. And up here. See you soon, Echo. See you soon, Echo. Inspect the map in the office to refresh your memory of the surroundings. Well, let's go do that, shall we? By the way, happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. I'm very excited about this game uh, and have been for a while now. All right, so the map is in here in the bedroom. All right, let's inspect the map. You've discovered Nespers Valley grassland habitat. Open country for beginners and seasoned veterans alike. The meadows serve as prime feeding areas for both pheasants and badgers. Undisturbed grasslands with tall grass have the potential to hold a lot of small, but also some bigger game. Okay, tab for more info. You got it. Here is the map, folks. Check it out. We're at our lodge. And look at this. It's like a 3D map. Very nice indeed. But it is huge. That is pretty massive. And it looks like we have more outposts to check out for sure. We're in Cottonwood uh, and Rivermouth here. Very nice. There are two different uh, maps in this game. Uh, there's one in uh, across the uh, the world as well. I forget the other name of it. We'll, we'll we'll get there. Enter the car. Okay, let's go. Let's go driving. Let's see what the driving's like. I have seen uh, some videos, early access videos of this, but I have not seen 
Um, any, okay, there's gotta be a way to get rid of these little, this little pop-up. Okay, we just had to get closer to the Jeep and it went away. That's fine. Oh, is the toggle the objectives. Okay, so there's the O oh, up there. Enter the car, gotcha. All right, let's see how well we do driving this thing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be using my controller for this part of it. So let's see what it's like. Oh, that's not too bad, honestly. Um, all things considered. A keyboard would probably be a little bit more janky than that, but the uh, the physics on the Jeep aren't too bad. The Jeep is super oversized, though, I must say. Like, that thing needs to be scaled down quite considerably. All right, let's try it. See some uh, some driving physics here. Not bad. I mean, it's not SnowRunner, but what are you expecting, you know? All right, cool. You're scaring every animal. Uh, in the area. Follow the road from the lodge, which will take you to a crossing near a bridge. Okay, so this way, obviously, since the exclamation mark is telling us to go this way. We got a horn. We have lights because we do have a day and night cycle. Those look like little uh, dog paws, don't they? Yeah, just a little bit. All right, the bridge is down here. There's no interior view that I can see. Um, so it's all just third party. Vehicle health and storage. A car is very useful and not indestructible. Drive safely. Okay, so you can damage your car. Or your Jeep in this case. Oh, a pheasant. Nice. My little pheasants. Oh, flushing out of the, uh, the sides there. All right, cross the bridge. Take the first turn to the left across the river. Yep. A left across the river crossing. All right, cool. We have... Ooh. You can see the water physics for the first time here. Let's see what this is like. Yeah, remember the road after. A little bit of a splash coming out of the back of the, the truck, but not too much here. Now we'll, let's get out and look at this water here. All right. For that, can we get down in the water? That's the question. We can. I'm not going to make it super deep, you know? I just wanted to see what that was like. It's very smooth on the controller, I must say. So um, let's enter the vehicle. We're good to go. It's on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, all, you know, all that fun stuff. Oh, I love the sounds, man. Was that a grass? It sounded like grasshoppers. Oh, grasshoppers. Then you up the hills on foot, reach the ladder, and climb up. Okay. We're going to take this as far up as we can. I do want to do some off-roading in this thing. I mean, you know how we roll. Let's see what it is capable of doing. All right, nice and easy over the rocks. Nope, didn't like that. Let's see how this works. That's not terrible, but... Oh, we're going to get stuck easily. I mean, not an off-roading game, but the, at least the tires seem to be going over those boulders decently. Let's try to climb this a little bit more here. So it's got some off-road capability to it. Not too bad. I mean, we don't have, like, you know, rock crawling tires on this thing. <laughs> and I haven't wrecked it yet, so... Oh, we're going to get stuck. Well, we already screwed up, and the uh, Jeep is stuck. As you can see, we have vehicle storage, by the way. You can store things in the back. You can get your uh, primary, secondary gear, all that stuff. I love that. that we can do that uh, from there. But yeah, check it out. We've already got the Jeep stuck. Um, that didn't take very long, did it? No. All right. Continue up the hills on foot. We'll do that. Reach the ladder and climb up. I'm noticing you can toggle run by hitting shift. So I can just click it once and he continues. You don't have to hold it down. I do like that. That is very nice of them to do it that way. And I got to say, the world is very immersive. Like the movement of the trees, the sounds of the grasshoppers and the various uh, wildlife. Very immersive uh, indeed. All right, made it to the ladder. You need to use the ladder so we can actually climb the ladder just like this. Oh, we can. We, we are in control of it. I thought I was doing it automatically. Not the case. All right, we did that. So on up here we go. Here you are. Greet your old friend Echo. Let's greet Echo, shall we? Ahoy! Long time no see, my friend. Okay, so he uh, he wanted to hear his Echo. Well, since our vehicle is stuck right there, um, we can't seem to recover it, so we're gonna go here and fast travel to the ranch. All right, so we're back at the ranch, and I know there's a way we can get uh, our vehicle out, and I think you have to come into here, and then you go to car, and then here it is. So you have the mile, you have the thunder, you have the clockwork, and then you have war paint, which was uh, one of the ones you could grab from uh, the pre-order. Uh, pre 
which I did. So select that vehicle. It's active. We go back. Now that should be right outside our lodge. And you can do that with the other cars too um, to recover them. That is something I did learn early on because I was like, man, uh, I'm probably going to need that. Not going to lie. There it is right there. Check it out. We got that awesome war paint on it. Means we, uh, I, I want to do some hunting, man. So we have to do the, uh, the shooting range, which I might show you a little bit of that, but I'm not going to bore you with it too much. We need to get hunting. Nice reloading animation there. That's actually really slick. Not bad at all. 200 yards is way too far for a safety shot. Oh, well, yeah, of course. It's going to be tough. We got it, though. Look at that. All right. Check the forgotten note. We will do so. Uh, right here. Hey, Wallace. Don't forget to take care of the badgers wreaking havoc behind the lodge. Sincerely, myself. Enter the hunting stand near the badger calamity. All right. We're going to go do that. Running animation with the gun. Very smooth indeed. This is uh, very impressive so far. I'm liking it. I see badgers right here. Look at them running around like crazy. We need to get in the hunting stand, though. That's what they want us to do. We get to shoot these guys. I'm thinking we are. Oh, they're making all sorts of noises over there. Little growls. Oh, there's one right here. Look at those guys go. Oh, there's one right here. Hey, what are you doing? What are you? You're trying to climb the ladder. I would kill you, but I mean, well, okay. All right, here we are. Go and claim him. Here's the, the bullet. <laughs> the bullet uh, can I mean, that was an easy kill. That was ridiculous. Um, all right. So you can go forward and backward with A and D. So you can reverse it. The bullet cam. So I'm reversing it now. But man, that is very detailed. You can see exactly how you kill an animal. Very cool. So you can sell them. You can tax them. Uh, you have overview. Hunt rating, all that stuff. I'm sure we didn't get anything good on that because we literally used the wrong uh, gun. Meat info, wait to sell, all that stuff is all right there. So that's what uh, the bullet camera looks like and all that. Very cool indeed. Let's just go ahead and sell them for 35 bucks. Easy enough, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, there's the blood. Okay, gotcha. Fitness gene pool. Each animal has a fitness value which affects the animal's trophy and size of the animal. Pay close attention to it because you can change the average fitness of a habitat by hunting low trophy score males and vice versa. That is one thing that is very prevalent in this game. So uh, you got to watch the gene pools. That's unusual. Badgers are definitely overpopulated in this area. So many of them. Look at these little guys go. I mean, we're sp I guess we're supposed to shoot them with this thing because uh, what was our uh, range at right now? Probably less than that. 54. These guys can't be that far, right? Yeah. And another one. I was in the back. Shoot a badger. Well, we're shooting them. We shot one. Oh, there's another one coming up here. Come here, little guy. Oh, missed. They're scurrying away. I'll get him in a second. Hold on. Let him slow down a minute. Where did he? Did he just go around that corner? Is he dead? Did I get him? Oh, I killed him. Okay. I didn't even realize that. Good to know. I mean, we shot that one earlier, but... It was because he was glitched out next to the actual oh, ladder. That's hilarious. All right, little badger. Let's claim you. Yeah, we shot him right in the back. And look at that. It went all the way through its body, too. That was... No, it went inside of his body halfway. Okay, there you go. There you go. We have an orbit zoom. We could hit... Oh, that's how we play. Gotcha. So you can, you can rewind it, and then you can hit play again. So it's a very slow... Rewind when I hold A. But you can see where it hit him in the back leg there as it zooms out. Oh, I see how that works. Okay, cool. Harvest one badger. Use either the stand or find them in the field. Yeah, well, we've already done that. Now, we have a thing called Hunter Sense. You can turn certain things on and off. You can only use it whenever you're stopped. When you move, it turns off. But it lets you hear, like, audible cues. Um, you're able to see, like, there's, like, blood. You're able to see uh, different... Um, all sorts of different things, like, you know, tracking, uh, help, for sure. I'm going to analyze this little uh, badger hole here. Resting rarely. Okay. So this is one of the need zones, and their need zones are very different. Um, and a little bit more realistic than what we have seen in the Call of the Wild. I think I hear some sort of big animal over here. Analyzing all of these. Resting rare. They rarely use it, which is really cool. Same thing with uh, the need zones for drinking. They seem to uh, be a little different. Oh, one right here. 
Oh, that's a good clean shot on him, too. You know, one thing that's missing out of this is that when you shoot the gun, we don't have any reverb. Like, that's something that uh, Call of the Wild does really well, is the audio. When you shoot that gun, I mean, you hear that thing echo for days. And we're not hearing that at all. Nice clean shot. We got a flesh heart shot. Left lung, right lung. Look at that. Right through him. Killed him instantly. Little Sorry, little badger. You uh, you had to be sacrificed, buddy. Rating was uh, a five-star. Adventurer difficulty. Only a one trophy rating on that. But we did really good on that. His gene pool's information's right there. Very cool. We can go ahead and sell him. All right. New mission added. Which one has a white butt? Are we going to get to go and shoot a deer? I hope. By Remington 783 bolt action rifle, which is more suitable for a deer hunt. Yes. And look at how beautiful that lodge is. That is very cool looking, I must say. Can we light a campfire? That'd be cool. No, nope, we can't. Sad. They give us all this firewood, but we can't make a fire. Come on now. All right, we can use the laptop now. Let's see what this is about. So the disease is spreading. Uh, for the disease is spreading, blah, 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 blah. Don't tell me you're visiting that conspiratorial website too. Okay, gotcha. All right, so don't contact my son. I think the subject says it all. Your cool hobby devastated my wife, and I don't want to see the same thing happen to my son. He has his own life and career out in L.A. He's only helping you out of pity and the emotional blackmail. Don't bother him with your business or contact him ever again. Jeez, dude. Okay, so that's our emails we have so far. Uh, then we have a shop. Oh, my heavens. Look at all this. Shotties. Nice. That is pretty darn cool. So that's arms. We have gear. So we have Binox. We have Bushnell Primes that are currently uh, locked. Here's all the collars. Elk collar, roe deer, deer grunt collar, red deer, hog collar, duck collar, goose collar, jackrabbit, and moose. So there you go. That's all of the species um, that we're going to be hunting. Attachments for everything. We got a red dot zoom, uh, a carbon optic my loophole, then we got the uh, different sites. So we got one, two, three, four, and five different sites to choose from. And then boundaries. So you have to get certain passes to hunt in different uh, sections of the map. So as you can see, we can buy those later on down the road. Very cool. Yeah, that's the other place. Transylvania is where uh, you can go as well. And you can see there's uh, duck. So there's waterfowl happening there. Very cool. Go to storage. We saw this before. Sleep. This is the sleep system here. You can rest until certain times. Um, very slick interface, I must say. And that there's the uh, car there as well. So shop. We need to buy that bolt action rifle. We have $1,643 and this thing is 1040 So this is going to take everything we got. So we're buying it. We have done so. Now what? Uh, equip the new rifle and attach a scope to it. Okay. Well, we know how to do that. So... We go to this primary. Oh, we can do primary and secondary. So it is secondary. We'll throw our Remington on that guy. Uh, and then we can uh, we can select equip him and then plus on you. And we can use the same. Okay, we can use the same scope on that. That's cool. So you can do it at the same time. You don't have to buy two separate scopes. Okay. You shouldn't use this bad boy for more than 120 yards. Ethical hunt. Always try to aim for the vital organs to kill as quickly as uh, yep, painfully, yeah, painlessly, not painfully, <laughs> it's possible. All right, grasslands area, so let's get our other gun out. Here it is, look at that. Nice, dude. There you go. Pretty darn schlick. Let's go upper grassland area, where's that at? Looking on the map, it looks like it's down the road to the left. So we go down, like we went to that bridge, and then make a left, and it'll take us down there. So we... We'll get down there where these uh, little question marks are. Right, let's back this thing down the hill. By the way, there's a awesome, awesome photo mode in this game. And uh, I'm uh, pretty excited to, to try it out. Markers. For better orientation in the world, you can place various types of marker. To use an exploration marker, press the right bumper. Okay, and it went away. Or X. That was the other one that they gave us an option for there. All right, we're now on the main road. Uh, towards where we're going here and this is about as fast as the Jeep goes so it's not like super super fast but it's not slow either we made it here spooky animals harvest a mule deer or a white tailed deer all right we're gonna park right here that'll work for me we don't need to scare him any longer I remember when I couldn't tell the difference between a white tailed deer and a mule deer everybody used to tease me about it oh I'm sure he did 
when you are tracking an animal don't run it's easiest way to spook the animal it's the easiest Let's way see if i haven't forgotten all those hunting lessons from Grandpa. try to move silently or don't use the car and hide in tall grass okay gotcha so we need to learn how to crouch is it c okay c is all right now we're making way less noise you can see there at the bottom right that's the wind direction so our scent is going to be going that way we know that we can use our hunter sense like i said oh looks like badger spots here and uh there's our vehicle there oh cool yep analyze that yep resting spot for badgers and there was a blind over here i saw we're gonna go make our way over to that i wonder if it's z to prone nope c is stand up c is that we hold c to prone okay there you go so yep you can prone by holding down c yeah there's a stand right there which might work in our favor now i haven't heard any animals yet or do i see them let's get our uh, binoculars out here and we'll have a look see oh my god there they are right there look at that so you can hit uh x to make a marker that's what they're talking about look at that guy right there that's cool 160 yards out i mean we don't know what we're dealing with here for herd but uh 156 yards for that guy might be able to take a good shot there's another one over here to the right he looks like he's a little bit bigger there all right so we can use our hunter sense what does that do for this does that tell us it tells us information mule deer trophy two mature male behavior calm okay gotcha so that's what we're looking at at the moment so we get animal analysis when we do that okay 154 yard shot this guy might be the one we're gonna go for here it's only a two uh, two we're making sounds okay so that's hunter sense actually being used so let's go ahead and get our guns out here what's one on oh, my other one make sure we get the right rifle right yeah that's one and then secondary is this guy 154 yards so we want to be prone for the best shot possible so we're going to crawl up on them here and uh i'm going to get my uh get my sight zeroed in on these guys just a little bit further right here is a great spot 149 yards a little bit to the left here there we go zoom it on in oh he's laying down oh that's even easier of a shot um so we're currently 109 yards so we can change that to 150. 164 i think that'll be the better shot there but yeah i mean that's zoomed all the way in look at that we can go for a shot with him sitting down on the ground i mean that's fine with me wait for him to move his head oh buddy got a hit on him where's he going he's look at that animation oh he's going down dude that animation is incredible that looks like a stupid realistic all right let's cross the creek here and we'll go see uh where that uh that leads us let's do some running here this is deeper water so it kind of slows you down when you get in the water oh man the sounds are so good in this game now i don't have any deer callers because what i would have done in call of the wild is after i took a shot i'd start doing deer calling just so they aren't too scared um but uh this is where we shot him right over here we need to find the blood trail which we're going to use our hunter sense for that look around for the blood trail right over here there's a calling noise oh there's the blood right over there check that out we got uh analyze so it's pink blood medium amount of blood air bubbles so if there's air bubbles and it's pink that means it was shot in the lungs time to expire slow this is for expiration okay there you go then we have another one here uh pink yep there's the air bubbles so we need to track this like you know old school we don't have a we don't have a dog or anything like that like we normally do in call of the wild so follow the blood trails around like this there we go there's more this way and we know he ran off to the left so we're gonna keep an eye out for that but man look at how realistic that looks all right hunter sense doing really well here here it is right here so it went this way we knew he made a left hand turn and ran this way okay blood trails an animal leaves a blood trail after every shot the color and amount could tell you yeah we know that brain and spine's red it'll die on the spot heart and lungs and artery pink with bubbles yep we knew that stomach intestines red with green bone and flesh red small amount of blood that is very detailed to examine the blood trail interact with the blood splatter so here's blood over here and you can see that's the direction it was going it was right over there so you got this here and uh now we're back on the trail again yeah i don't think it crossed yeah there's blood right here okay gotcha so maybe we go this way and see if we find any more blood 
Yeah, it's right over here. Okay. So it went this direction, it looks like. Oh, there it is right there. Oh, my Lord, dude. Check it out. We found him right here. So that whole time, uh, that's not what that little pink thing means. I don't know what that... Okay, so it's showing that to that. So you're always being faced towards your uh, your tracking marker. That's what it is. Because uh, that's very, very confusing, that pink thing. But here he is. We found our kill. All right, so he was laying down. And check it out. We had a flush. Left lung, right lung. Shot on him here while he was laying down. You can see it go right through both of those. Almost to the second lung. No, it went through the second lung there. And uh, pretty much out the side. For the most part, looks like to me. Not bad at all. Very cool. We'll go ahead and uh, we will be selling him. So let's see here. Overview. He was a 50% gene pool. So yeah, good to shoot him. Uh, male, single lung. And uh, was he a 4x4? Four four? I think so. Uh, single lung, partly cloudy. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know. Uh, two trophy rating there. Yeah, no big deal. Hunt. There it is right there. Tracking time. Way too long. That can't be right. That can't be right. Maybe it is. Was it 38 minutes? Did it take me 38 minutes? I don't think so. All right, we sold him. Introduction completed. You've learned the basics of hunting. Now all shop items, multiplayer mode, and available territories are accessible. There you go. We shot a mule deer. Restaurant orders. The Bear Den Ranch, owned by your grandfather, supplies ethically hunted meat to high-end restaurants. You can access restaurant orders via email. Very cool. There's something across the way there. Looks like it's a mule deer. It's a doe. Oh, here they all come. They're coming from over here. All right, cool. So we have to wait for them to kind of get into range for another shot on one of them, it looks like. May not be the worst idea. We're going to go ahead and just uh, lay down here and hope they move a little closer to us because I would love to get another one, you know? And uh, we can see the buck making his way down this way very slowly. Let's do 100 cents on him. Uh, yeah, only two-star trophy on him. And they are very alert towards this direction. They might have seen me move, but they seem to not care too much because they are moving uh, this way some more. So we're just going to be a little bit more uh, patient. He's 230 yards out right now. So we need to get him at least about 150 or closer. You know, after playing this for a little while, I got to say, I don't care that much about the FOV. I probably would not even change it, to be honest with you. It's very similar to what I'm used to in Call of the Wild, and uh, I can see why they went this direction. But some people are saying they want a better FOV for widescreen monitors, so I do understand uh, that for sure. I think he went behind the tree right there, but he's right over on the other side. There's one of the other does. All right, I'm in a nice open area over here just to the right of this tree, and they're still making a little bit of noise. Um, but they're on the other side of that and I have lost eyes of them now I saw you know when this game was coming out They were talking about it like it's a different play style than you know what you're used to with call of the wild Call of the wild is more kind of arcadey sometimes you have things happen a lot quicker. This is a lot more patience uh, That's involved, but I like this style of hunting. It's more rewarding I think that call of the wild sometimes feels like you're poaching all the time and uh, this feels like you're actually doing some deer hunting now I don't hunt in real life. It wasn't for me. I did it once or twice when I was a younger kid. Uh, it, I just didn't enjoy it. Some people love it. There's a reason why people do it. I get it 100%. Um, but with that said, oh, look at this. I think that's them right there drinking water. Is that not them right there? Let's see. I'm going to stand up a little bit. Nope, it's a rock. Another thing I have noticed is that uh, you have to have your hunter sense enabled for you to even hear any of the animal uh, calls to you. There's no on-screen indication other than the direction that you actually hear it uh, when it's turned off like that. So I think they're on the other side of this ridge here. So my idea here is to go around. Is that a badger? Yeah, it is. Go down and around to the left-hand side and see if we can uh, meet them on, on the other side of this ridge. I made it on the other side. Not hearing any sounds coming out of anybody here. Let's we'll kind of pop our head up a little bit. Oh, there they are right there. 113 yards. Yes, please. I think we can get a good shot on him here, too. Let's go ahead and uh, get our, our gun out. 
We know he's 115, so we can go ahead and zero to 109. That might not be bad. Let's see if he'll uh, stop here. I would love to get a shot on this guy. They look like they're looking right at me, though, don't they? <laughs> like they know what's going on. I'm going to get a shot on him right here. Oh, yeah. That was pretty good. Let's watch him. Run after him. He's going left. He's got his head down. Is that him right there? Yep, he's got his head down. Come on, buddy, go down. If you watch him, it's a lot easier, so you don't have to track him as much. He's running that way. I think we got a good shot on him, though. All right, found the blood right over here, and it uh, looks like it is going to be in the lungs. We got air bubbles, and it's pink. And uh, it's a medium amount of blood, so that's pretty darn good. He went this way. We know that. So we're going to track him this way. Here's some blood right here. Nice. Went through here. All right, so this looks like the spot that we hit him was right here. Um, and time expires slow. Okay, gotcha. So this is before expiration. Tells you all that information. So I'm trying to find the blood trail again. Tracking is much more difficult than you would think. And in fact, what I have to do is come here and actually put down a trail. Or sorry, a, uh, a marker here. Just so I will remember it. Because if I don't... And do it right there. Oh, got to remove them all. Put one right here. There we go. At least now we know where to start. There's blood right here, it looks like. Yep. And it went this direction that way. All right, cool. There's more right here. You see it right there on the ground. And it went this way as well. So, man, thank you for Hunter Sense. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to mark this one too. This is where we got off track because I thought they went that way. It was hard to say, but now I think we're in a better spot to... Uh, to keep tracking them that looks like blood up here so check it out here's the blood trail all along this log here and you can see how it actually fell onto the actual branch how incredible is that this has made it so much fun it's so much more difficult than call of the wild here we go now we're back on the trail man let me put a marker down here you can see this track i've got going on here to try to figure this all out so i can backtrack if i get lost but uh, I think we're finally back on it for sure. And it went this way. There it is right there. And, uh, I mean, this thing's got to be around here somewhere. Let's turn our hunter sense on. There we go. There's some blood right there. Very hard to see it sometimes with the hunter sense. And look at that. Blood actually fell onto that leaf. It's actually on the branches and stuff. That is insanely detailed. So, yeah, check it out. Here's another blood trail in this massive bush I'm in. And you can see the blood on the, uh, the leaves. Very, very cool stuff, man. All right, found the blood trail on the exit of this bush, and it went this direction. Here is the blood trail again. We're back on it. Nice. And I think this might be the deer right up here. That's him right there. Yep. Check it out. We found it. How cool is... Dude, that was a tough one. That was a pretty tough one, I must say. Wow. Wow. Now, I know you can use the photo mode, so we're going to get down and, uh, and get, a, uh, get a picture with it. So here is the photo mode. You can move the camera around wherever you want. There's my guy kneeling down with the kill. How cool is that? Really, really neat that we can do this. And then here's all the options. You can move the camera faster and slower um, with shift. You can rotate the camera, lower the camera with C. Um, well, that didn't seem to do much to it. You can kind of just do whatever you want with it, it looks like. All right, cool. How can we do a zoom? So here's the presets. You got Yellowstone, Faded, Nostalgic, Sunset, Noir. Very cool. You can change the temperature all you would like uh, manually. Very neat. Tint, contrast, exposure, grain, all sorts of stuff. Vignette. Uh, and then we have time of day. You can change the time of day for better lighting as you wish. Show character or no. Um, and then here's the options for this. We got field of view right here. This is what I was looking for. Look at this. Camera tilt, pretty neat. Uh, depth of field, you can uh, turn that up. And then you can make the uh, depth of field like that. Wow, man. Okay. I like that. And then here's the different presets. Faded, uh, nostalgic. Man, that looks pretty darn good like that, I must say. I like that a lot. And with the exposure settings and contrast here, just to see uh, what this all does. And it's pretty in depth honestly grain bloom like i said you can change the vignette um i can always do this in uh, photoshop as well but really neat that we can do this so you can pause the game if you would like or you can let it go live how neat is that i guess you just hit f12 steam to take a screenshot that seems to be how you do it because i don't see any options here to actually take the picture um so very neat 
that you can do that if you prefer shooting photos rather than bullets the photo mode is exactly for you there you go so what i'm wondering is you can go escape photo mode and then we can uh unpause the game and uh we can hit that and i think we could just move around the world freely change our fov here a little bit and then we can move faster with shift so yeah look at this this is in real time you can move pretty far away with it so pretty cool that we can get shots with the uh, different various animals you know that uh, that we have out here very neat indeed all right time to claim the animal that we shot let's see what we got here not too shabby right there through that uh, that long it was a front shot i was hoping to get the heart but it looks like we just missed that artery right there and uh, it went through the left lung and right lung. And you see where it uh, really started to increase. But that second one, we needed that energy to be higher, it looks like, for that to be a, a better shot. So that wasn't the cleanest shot in the world. Uh, and it is a... Was that a 3x3? Three three? I think so. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got overview here. Male, single lung. So 50%. There you go. Single lung shot was what killed him. It wasn't a double. Uh, is the hunt info right there. So tracking time, 49. Okay, that's not correct at all. So I don't know what this means. Runaway distance. Maybe tracking time total since I first saw him. Maybe that's what that means. And then trophy options, length of main beam. Uh, look at all of this stuff, man. You see the time. Uh, yeah, length of the tines. You can see the uh, typical point spread of the main beam. Look at that. I mean, that's just crazy how in-depth this actually is. I must say. So 532, we'll take it. And a quick look on how I tracked it. I made my little tracking markers all the way around here so I wouldn't lose, uh, you know, sight of the the total picture. And we found him right here. I don't know what this whole purple thing means um, at all. So if you know, let me know in the comments below for sure. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this episode of Way of the Hunter. Let me know if you want to see some more hunts. I will definitely be playing this on twitch.tv slash jfaviano. That's where I'm usually live uh, in the evening times, Monday through Friday. So if you want to check out some more hunting, we'll definitely be doing it over there as it's a slower paced game. But I must say what I see here, I like. Um, don't let the uh, the Steam um, reviews fool you. Some people just really don't like that FOV and they don't like the fact that they can change their keybinds. I haven't ran into any issues so far. Uh, it runs beautifully on this PC and uh, I can recommend it to you guys. So let me know what you thought of it in the comments below once again. And I'll see you all next time. Take care.